God is good. And today, guys, I'm going to be talking about something a little interesting. It's a game I've never talked about before because it's new to me. I mean, I've known about it. I've just kind of ignored it. And that game is Worm Online. Now, the reason I'm bringing this up is because it's coming to Steam here in a few days. It was July 24th, 2020. So the time is recorded. We're just a few days away from this game. Finally, after 16 years of development, is coming to Steam. Now, this game's been out. You can actually download a client right now. Before I begin talking about it, though, I do want to point out there are two versions of this game. There's Worm Online, which is the MMO, and there's also Worm Unlimited, which is a game that you play by yourself. Okay, so I'm not talking about Worm Unlimited. I'm talking about Worm Online. Worm Online is a very, very sandbox-heavy game. And I'm going to talk about what this game is to give you a general impression to see if this is something you're going to get on Steam or not, or if it's something you're interested in. Before we begin, if you are new to the Nathan Napalm channel, please consider subscribing, especially if you're interested in old school MMORPGs or new MMOs that have that classic feel. Also, big shout out to the members of Napalm for supporting this channel and what I do. If you are interested in becoming a member with special perks, please click the join button down below. All right, guys, so let's talk about Worm Online. What is it? Why should you be interested in it? And what makes it stand apart? Well, before I begin, I do want to mention that the game recently got a pretty big graphic overhaul. Now, obviously, you're looking at this and you're not going to be blown away. But compared to what the game did used to look like, this is pretty good. And once you find out all these features of what you can do in Worm Online, to me, with the features it can do, I think this is pretty good graphics. And I also got to let you know that it's going to be a brand new server when it launches on Steam. So if you're worried about people being ages ahead of you and all that kind of thing, everybody will be starting fresh. So it's pretty cool. I think that was a good way to you know, an older game to release it for the first time on Steam, make it a new server so that the Steam people have their own client, which I think is pretty cool. Now, the big feature that everybody talks about Worm Online is the building and the terraforming. So, you can terraform and shape the land around you. I mean, like, dig holes in mountains and create a road through it so that people can ride right through the mountain. I'm talking about you know, actually terraforming, which is really cool. Not a lot of games like that. You can flatten land, you can raise land, you can create spires, mountains. You can really leave your mark on the game and everybody else sees that. And I think that's one of the key ingredients of why Worm Online is interesting. Also, player housing is right out there in the world. There's no no instancing. It's just you build your home and there it sits on that on that piece of property wherever you built it at. People build farms around it, and, and and farms actually mean something. Like you can milk the cows, you can you can eat the chickens. It's pretty crazy, and there's quite a bit of options when you're building uh, to build it to your own personal style. As a matter of fact, it doesn't even take long of playing the game before you can start building your first home. We're not talking about predefined houses here. We're talking about shape them how you want to. Make fences, stone walls, bridges. I mean, you could literally, this game is so crazy, you could literally go out into the wild and cut down an entire forest. Now, the trees would grow back over time. Or you could start planting something of your own and watch it grow. Well, I don't know if it'd be fun to literally watch it grow, but you know what I mean. If a path, if a place is often traveled, it actually creates a path from the horses and domestic creatures walking and, and stomping it into dirt. And you want to talk about mining and crafting. This is a mining and crafting person's dream come true. I mean, you can literally just go out and dig rock out of mines endlessly. But beware, you're going to probably run into some monsters and things while you're doing Doing it. So let's talk a little bit about the crafting system because it's pretty crazy in this game. It's actually one of the major draws. There's tons of raw material just out in the world. We're talking tar and gold, diamonds, and all these kind of materials that you can go out and get and then craft weapons and tools or buildings or structures or ships, depending on how high quality that material that you gather is. And of course, your skill level, because that's how you level up in this game is through skilling up. You can create pretty much anything you can imagine. 
Now it also has a real world type economy where all the money is tied to it. This helps the game from having problems with inflation because the game does not generate coins except in very super rare cases. If you got coin in the game, then it came from another person. Now that brings me to something that maybe you might not like and that's that you can buy coins for in-game from their shop. This is how they generate money. But let's talk a little bit about the skills. So you don't just level up in a traditional sense like a person like me who comes from EverQuest or MMOs like that. This is a little bit more like Ultima Online where there's tons of skills and you level them up to a max of 100. So everything you do is skilling up. So if you use a bow a lot, it's going to skill up. If you mine a lot, you're going to skill that up. So if you want to level something up, just start doing it. Now there are a over 130 different skills. And we're not talking about a bunch of cosmetic BS. We're talking about actually skills that all of them cause some kind of impact in the world. Now these skills are tied to characteristics such as strength or etc. So if you use a skill tied to strength, then by skilling it up, you're also going to increase your strength and etc. Now another tip from the developers is that if you want to skill up faster, you'll want to eat food and drink, okay? Because you're going to get hungry, you're going to get thirsty, and you're not going to skill up as quickly if you're not taking care of yourself, okay? This is also an MMO with PvP. Sometimes it could just be you versus another person, or it could be a kingdom-wide dispute, conquest for land, but not all servers have PvP. They have some PV, they have a PvP server, they have a PvE server. Now on the PvP servers, you do enjoy a double skill game. It's what they call the curve. Since you're playing on PvP, you're probably going to die more often and get killed, so therefore they give you the benefit of skilling up twice as fast. However, if you die in PvP, you don't lose skills. But if you die in PvE, you do take a hit from that. So the penalties are pretty rough, especially in PvE. Also, the drops in the game, such as armor and gear, mainly actually come from people making it, okay? So it's very craft heavy. You can do it yourself, or you can go find somebody, probably find you a town somewhere where there's a blacksmith, etc. And there's cloth, leather, studded, chain, plate, drake, and scale. So I, I said those basically in the order of how inside insanely better they are, right? Same thing goes for weapons, and also you can have weapons enchanted. But Worm Online is a huge sprawling world with a lot of adventure to be had. And you know what? We're pretty thirsty for an MMO these days. So if you've never played or this sounds interesting at all to you, why not give it a chance on July 24th when it launches on Steam? Because what else are you going to do? Honestly, nothing. There's literally nothing. So why not? Uh, so I wanted to make a video just giving you some brief information about Worm Online so you could make a, a, an educated decision if this is a game you want to play or not when it launches on July 24th here in a few days. So there you go, guys. What do you think? Are you going to try Worm Online? Let me know in the comments down below if this is something you might be interested in, even if it's just because we're completely dry with nothing new on the horizon for quite a while. Let me know in the comments down below. And of course, if you're not already subscribed, please consider doing so. And if you're a super fan of the Nathan Napalm, you'd like to support me and what I do, please consider clicking the join button down below for options on becoming a member of the Nathan Napalm. Special shout out to those who are already members supporting me and my endeavors. And of course, guys, until next time, God bless and happy gaming. Please listen to what I say. I've been making videos all day. It's a video buffet. You can even hit replay. But please just subscribe. I can't even describe. Be a part of my tribe. I'll even offer you a prize. But just please just subscribe. And hit the bell notification too.